Hey guys, this is John Deere Guy 37 here again with a small project update video. Just doing a short one tonight. I was going to do a, well, an in depth review kind of thing on this little 60 garden tractor at some point, but uh, my tire went flat last night and the oil seal that I was going to replace, but the last time that I had the engine out, it didn't quite have all the parts and the seal that I needed, so I just lubricated the old seal and reinstalled it. Um, it didn't quite fix the issue. Leaked. Uh, leaks pretty w badly, uh, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so I will be pulling the engine out for the third or the fourth time. Um, the good thing is it's only like the pulley and the oil uh, tube and four bolts and the wiring. So it's not it's not the worst thing in the world to do. Um, probably two hours of work. Slow, but who knows? Um, so that'll be what's coming up here in the next couple days. I'll do a quick run around of what I'm doing. I'm not doing so great on battery right now, so I'll see if I can get it all in for you. All right, so here we are. Just a little 60 again. You can see snap ring pliers and various bits for removing the wheel. Which I noticed this has probably been repainted because, <laughs> you know. So there's that. Um, just a snap ring and a woodruff key. Hold the holds these on. Uh, these are a three speed, well, technically a four speed peerless rear end in them. This one here is a 67 because it has the two speed rear end in it. Um, <clears throat> my fiberglass work on the hood needs to be improved here, but I just did that a few years ago to keep it from cracking more not to make it look good so this is the original Tecumseh VH60 engine new carburetor there <clears throat> so a lot of these have been converted to different engines then you can't use the power takeoff to run the mower deck which I don't have on currently but I still have for this tractor. You can see it's I don't know if you can see down in there. It's leaking a bit and there's my puddle of oil dry there because there's a puddle of oil. Um these engines have what you would call a rectifier on them, or what Tecumseh calls a rectifier. Those diodes and the fuse that allows you to um, run without a battery and use the pull start but you can see I have the battery with the electric start which makes it a lot easier starting because it doesn't run quite perfectly yet um, these were the cheaper uh, garden tractor it's not really considered a lawn tractor these were a cheaper garden tractor back in the early 60s this was John Deere's first kind of attempt into the not really a Lowe's special but their attempt into the smaller ones so it's this one's original paint it's not perfect it's not perfect but it's not, not terrible so I just wanted to do kind of an update let you guys know where I was at I'll see if I can get this video up tonight and we'll see where we go from there um, one of my friends possibly may come over and help me change this oil seal and pull the engine again 
I'll see if I can get him to pull the engine for me because I've already done it two or three times and, you know, <laughs> maybe I can con him into doing it. We'll see. But, um, there's that to do and, you know, I'll probably end up pressure washing the frame off again because there's a whole bunch of oil in the front. So, there's that. Uh, you can see back here my other various bits for the other tractor, the 12 and a half horse motor the kid gave me that I will probably never use, and in my pile of bits, the starter solenoids and side covers and things. There's the other engine underneath the cover here, still needing. Well, I have the parts, haven't got it back together again. So, there's that. Um, the other tractor is not quite as good shape as this one, so that'll be a project eventually. Um, and eventually, you'll get a view of the whole shop here with the stuff that's only moderately buried. So, um,. Just a short update video. End up being a little bit longer than I wanted to, but that's what you get. Um, this is John Deere Guy 37 bringing you random things that you probably don't want to look at, but I'll show you anyway. Uh, um, just random projects and stupid things that I probably shouldn't own or waste money on, but I do. So, hey, that's fun. If you can't take it with you, and you know, might as well spend it on stupid little things like that. So, or, you know, other John Deere's like those on the back there. Anyhow, that'll be about it for today. And hope you have a good night. We'll see you again.